Welcome to the Na Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Gudmundsson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Hello and welcome to the Coffee Mac tutorials. Um, we're going to keep going in Business Central. I've been going, kind of going all over the place with uh, Power BI, Flow, uh, things that are outside the system or sort of like now tied in into the cloud. Um, but I'd like to just get back to uh, meat and potatoes inside Business Central. Uh, we might be doing things that I've already done sort of in uh, Dynamics and AV 2018, 17 or 16. But I think it's okay to kind of revisit that in these new videos. So today, what I kind of want to do is just go into production. Like uh, we have here a fully cloud enabled system, has everything, uh, production included. And uh, I did some production videos on, I think 16, 17 or 18. Um, and I, you know, I'm just gonna start sort of fresh in uh, Business Central. So if you haven't seen the production in Dynamics, uh, this would be great for you. If you have, now you see it in Business Central. So anyways, uh, if I actually go into items, uh, I'm going to create a new item right here. And I'm just gonna use an item template right now, like that. And I am gonna call it uh, coffee beans, right? And so this is just gonna be a raw material item and uh, just leave it as is, not do anything complicated with it. Uh, so you can see um, it automatically populates everything that I need, uh, puts in the uh, base of the measure. Actually, let's change that. It makes no sense to have that pieces. Uh, I'm gonna use pounds. I am here in uh, the USA and we use pounds. Um, the rest of the world, I guess, is kilos, almost. <laughs> All right, so this is a uh, pound, coffee beans in pounds. And we're gonna do a very simple production process. We're actually gonna grind the beans. So I'm just gonna create a new item here, another item. And I'm gonna call it coffee beans or ground, let's go with ground coffee. All right. And we're just converting coffee beans to ground coffee. That's it. I also want this to be in pounds, base unit of the measure. Uh, and then that's set up. So I have these two things. Now, in order to make this a production system, I will have to create a production bill of material. So I'll go in here and look for that production uh, bomb, production bill of material. And I'm going to create a new one here. So if you're used to NAV, you can actually see that this is very similar to NAV setups. Uh, same tables, etc. So we're just going to call this uh, ground coffee. Uh, ground coffee. Unit measure is pounds. Um, and this is now new, so I can set up what items I want to use. And I just want to use my coffee beans. And there's one, and actually there's 10% scrap. So as we're grinding the coffee beans, we lose 10%. Okay. Um, and now I just change this to be certified. So this bill of material is certified. And then I want to go back into my items list. So over here we have ground coffee and I go into manufacturing policy so this is just made for stock and production bill of material and I select this as production bill of material and now I've actually created an item ground coffee with production bill of material uh, that has the beans with 10% scrap so um, this is basically the item setup uh, so let's We'll go to the next video where we actually will go into a production order and execute the production order. So thanks for watching and keep tuned for the next video.